right, Alex says he has unfinished business. Alex, what's going on? So, you know, there's always that, um, the girl that got away, or the yeah. one that got the away, The one right? who got away, right. Well, today, I want to try to get her back. Oh, well, tell... And, uh, uh, tell me about this woman. So her name's Michaela. Michaela. You know, I've known her for about four years, basically since the beginning of high school. Yeah. But she's she's always had a boyfriend. Yeah. And you know, so we you know we were always best friends, but I got friend zoned, you know. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna try to fix. That. Oh, now you want you know you're gonna actually yeah. let her know how you really feel. You want to I be mean, more than friends. I yeah. mean, I've already told her that I'll, you know, I've, I've confessed my love to her on yeah. a couple a couple of different occasions. And she, when she finishes laughing, what does she say? <laughs> no. no, what does she, she did say? She did laugh once. You? She did laugh once. No. But, um, you know, it's just like, thanks, you know, I don't feel that way right now or yeah. something about, you know, her being She's with being honest. Else. I mean, sometimes. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. honesty is the best policy. At yeah. least she's not trying to make me feel bad or anything, yeah. you know. But, you know, that, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make her Now, how do often that. do you see her? How well do you oh, know her? Oh, okay. Well, we actually work together. And oh. I'm actually her boss. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We, uh, we, we work at a coffee shop. I'm the night shift manager. And we, we work pretty, pretty consistently throughout the week. Oh, so, I see. Yeah. So I'm always talking to her and stuff. So you're flirting with her at work. Yeah. We, that sexual tension has been building. Yeah. yeah. And... We actually did uh, have sex. Once, what? Once. Yeah. It, it wasn't just a very spectacular moment, but I mean, it was, it was very important to me. Yeah, it was in the parking lot of the coffee shop. It was in the back by the dumpsters in the back of her car. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a four door though. It was well, a four door. It was, it was either there or on the beach someplace under oh, the snow. Oh yeah, you know, hours a very away. romantic place by the dumpster. Yeah, you know, <laughs> got to get dirty somehow, right? Yeah. So you're here today to kind of make it more official and yes. say, hey, in front of the country, yes, I love you. In front of I everybody. Wanna... All right. Well, let's meet her. Um, well, well, this... well, before we meet. Her, oh yeah, sure. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't her, mean to go favorite... ahead with my show. Oh, that's fine. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But her favorite coffee is a caramel macchiato. So that's yes. what Ooh. I got right here. Yeah, that looks and good. And yeah. I got. I made her this little thing. It says, uh, "Dating is a grande event, and I would like it a latte if <laughs> uh, if you would be my girlfriend." And then you know, Alex and Michaela. Yeah. With a little heart, 2K17. You yeah. know. So that's, that's, that's what I'm going to give to her. It's mm. beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well, let's bring her around. Good luck. You seem like a nice guy. Thank you, thank you. Here's Michaela. So this is your favorite drink, the uh, caramel macchiato, right? And um, I, I also made you this, you know, dating is a grande event, and I would like it a latte if you would be my girlfriend. Aww. But yeah, that's, that, that's, that's for you. But, um, you know, I've, I've felt a very strong way about you for a long time, and when you moved, I honestly thought it was just lost. And then you moved back, and you moved back single, so it was a little bit better. And um, <laughs> then, you know, you got the job with me, and, you know, we, you know, and I, I would really love it if you would be my girlfriend. That's just so sweet. <laughs> I kind of like that drink. <laughs> Honestly, I've had these feelings for you, too. Oh. I had them for years and they've just been building up and I just I don't know what to do Ooh. with having a baby daddy and having my daughter because I have that family there I know I'm not with him but I still have that let's see like why would you even think about him because like he's he, he's a loser like he can't hold down a he, he, he can't hold down a job. 
you, whenever y'all were together, you basically took care of him, like like he was your kid. And I mean, you know, I've I've picked you up and watched you cry because of him. I've gotten you ice cream because of him. And that's. I know you picked me up in the middle of the night, helped me sneak out of my house. Yeah, yeah, I did <laughs> many times. Many but times. what are you gonna do? You have a girlfriend, and you oh. just moved in together. You just you moved have in a together. Girlfriend? Yeah. Whoa. What's the point? <laughs> the point is, you know, I love this girl, and I've loved her for a long time. And you know, yeah, we did just move in together. And but you, you know, just moved in with a girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Like, is she be your girlfriend? Yeah. And I'd move out? Yeah. I think I'd stay. Why would you stay? I like your sister. Oh. We, we, we get along pretty well. I think I'll stay. You can move out. But I'm the one paying the bills. And how long has this been happening? It only happened once. Just once? It only happened once. You sure? I'm sure. And how many times was that just once? Just just the one time. Oh, just the one and time? Yes. Wait, but, but you seem to be apologizing like you still want to be with her. Well, I mean, you know, I still care about her. You know, I yeah. mean, I, that's still a thing. Yeah, okay, so who would you, who would you want to be with? I mean, I'd rather be with Michaela. You know, it's kind of why I'm here. Yeah. Mm, you look so preppy over there. Because you know I'm winning your man. You're winning my man. I've seen you come up to our word, sitting there, just with a resting bitch face. Every time you come in there, you never say hello to any of us. You never. Because I'm not there for you. I don't care if you're there for him. You could have the common courtesy and respect for other people to at it's least a say hello. Shop. You can at least say hello. But you, it's your job to say hello. Okay, and you can say it back. Why? I'm not there to see you. It doesn't mean you have to be a complete bitch. What do you do? Oh. What do I do? What, but what are you? Better than you. Better than me. How so? At least I know what he likes to drink. You know what he likes to drink? Yeah, I do. What I make do? it for him every time he comes there. Every time he comes, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's Michael? Michael is the father of my child. Oh, Michael is the father of your child. Here's Michael. Michaela, I forgive you for everything, and I love you, and I love our child, and I want you to choose me. I don't know if I can do that. Why there's, not? Been, there's been so many problems between us. We've been together for two years now, broke up in November after our baby, and you just haven't supported me enough. You haven't been there enough. Alex is a sweet guy, and he gives me what I need. But you'd rather be with someone who cheats on his girlfriend? How do you know he's not going to cheat on you? Oh, you're so easy. <laughs> At least he treats me right. I've treated you right. In what way? What have you done for me? I've stopped drinking, sold my Xbox. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, what do you want to do? Oh, you're saying you want to be with her. Yes. More than your current girlfriend. Yes. Well, that doesn't sound like real commitment. You're telling her that you don't want to be with her anymore. Then tell her. Don't tell me. Yeah, okay, tell me. I'd rather be with her than I'd rather be with you. It's not what you said yesterday. Oh. Did you guys see? Yesterday, you loved the hell out of me. Oh. 
Yeah. Well, there's I no mean, hell left in her. She apparently did. So you had sex with her yesterday? Yeah. Okay, so just explain to me. If you know you're coming on the show to make a pitch to her, and you're having sex with your current girlfriend, did you not know that you were going to ask her today? It was a definite... It, I did know, yeah. and that's what I wanted to do. That was the reason I came here. Right, but then why did you have sex with her yesterday? It was there. Because it was there? That's all you are to him, a piece of ass. So you, you want her? I do. You want her? I do. After four years of nothing, just being completely in love with her. I'm taking my chance. Shh. You just have to understand. I do love you. I would not have been able to have sex with you if I did not love you. With this man, though, I do have a daughter. I do have a family started. And he has given up a lot. It's just all the chances I've given him. So you're saying no to him? I think I am. So... What do you want to say now? I mean, since she doesn't want to be together... Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom, you have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.